Dunedin TV presents your local weekly morning show from delightfully different Dunedin. Featuring Justin Cattaccio with Caitlin Hart. Including a musical performance by a local artist and in-depth conversation with people in the know. This is Good Morning Dunedin. This week on Good Morning Dunedin, our special guest, Elvis the King Presley, shares his love for Dunedin bike tours on today's Halloween episode. Muralist Silas Beach joins our show in the Art Corner segment, where we're helping to make Dunedin an art and cultural destination by highlighting local artists and artwork throughout our city. All this and more is coming up this morning on Good, Good Morning, morning Dunedin. Dunedin. Good morning, Dunedin, and welcome back to your favorite little local morning show. I'm your ghost, Kenny Rogers, and I'm here with the beautiful Dolly Parton and Elvis the King Presley. Good morning, Dolly. Well, good morning, Kenny. Good to see you. You uh, as well. So uh, we also have our, our, our friend Elvis Presley here. Good morning, Elvis. Good morning, Dunedin. It's time to TCB, take care of business. <laughs> Good morning, Elvis. How how you been? Welcome, welcome I'm back. I'm doing great. I'm doing awesome. I'm ready to get out and have some fun for Halloween. All right, looking forward to it. Why don't you uh, take a seat, grab a coffee, and we'll be back with you in just a bit. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Looking forward to it. All right, well, thank you for tuning in this morning, whether on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or on our local Dunedin TV cable channels 15 and 639. However you found us today, thanks for watching your favorite little local morning show. So, uh, what's, uh, what's, what's new with you, Dolly? Well, not much. I'm just getting excited for Halloween. <laughs> Me too. I actually uh, carved some pumpkins this weekend and they're already starting to rot. <laughs> Those pumpkins of Florida do not do well, apparently. That's Florida for you. I actually went to the pumpkin patch myself this past weekend. And I got me a couple pumpkins. <laughs> Wonderful. Is that time of year? It sure is, darling. All right, Dolly, what's going on in the community corner? Well, last weekend, the city of Dunedin Parks and Recreation held their two social distant Halloween events. Dunedin TV was there to enjoy and document the fun. You can watch more this week on Spotlight on Dunedin, where we go more in depth on local event coverage and promotion. You can watch Spotlight on Dunedin on Dunedin TV and the city's YouTube channel, City of Dunedin FL. City of Dunedin Parks and Recreation Department would like to thank you all and all our supporters and dedicated businesses, organizations, and members of the community for helping out make this event a great success for the Dunedin community. And Spotlight on Dunedin's Halloween coverage will also include the witches from the Hob, uh, the History Museum's Headless Horseman silent film series at Andrew Memorial Chapel, and some Halloween best costume contestants. So tune in for that on our sister show, Spotlight on Dunedin. And you can check that out again on Dunedin TV at 5 p.m. daily, or catch the individual spotlight features on City of Dunedin FL YouTube channel. The Dunedin History Museum's presentation of the silent movie of the Headless Horseman was a lot of fun. I actually was the sound effects guy on Wednesday. I love to volunteer with the museum. You ready for a spooky story? Dunedin History Museum director Vinnie Luisi has a tale of haunted Dunedin. Mr. Andrews was uh, another citrus owner. He did carpentry work. Uh, he owned quite a bit of land and was a cattleman. Uh, and unfortunately, he had a son who was in love with a young girl that lived on the other side of the Beckett Ranch. And one night he was coming home, and you can all relate. Remember Wednesday night? <laughs> well, imagine a night just like that, but worse with more lightning and thunder. And young Andrew was on his horse, Stephen Andrews was on his horse galloping home, and the tree next to him was struck by lightning. And the branch fell down, the horse bolted, and he fell off and was killed. And Mr. Andrews Sr. was so devastated by the fact that he wanted to do something and Beckett allowed him to build our first chapel, Andrews Memorial Chapel, 
right by Jerry Lake, our first one. Today, the second Andrew Memorial Chapel, which was downtown, is now owned by the Dunedin Museum, is at the entrance of Hammock Park. And that's the one that's still named in Andrew's honor. But in this area would have been over a hundred years ago in the area where young Andrews would have been galloping home to get home to his family. So I just want you to pay respects and we quietly go this way. All right, ooh, spooky. So if you've been watching Good Morning Dunedin or have been exploring Dunedin over the past month, you might have noticed all the public art going up. The Love Downtown Dunedin mural campaign is celebrating the completion of all the new murals with a mural and canvas art walk. Saturday, November 7th, starting at Caledonia Brewing, 587 Main Street for a guided art walk at 1 p.m. After the walk, join the block party and canvas unveiling at 7.30 Broadway for this exclusive ticketed event starting at 4 p.m. Tickets available at lovedowntowndunedin.com for $20 and proceeds go to the continuation of the Love Downtown Dunedin Merchant Businesses. Social distancing and CDC guidelines will be observed. Ticket price includes a swag bag from local merchants as well as a mural booklet and access to the block party. Anybody can join the art crawl off the street. Is that it for Community Corner, Dolly? Now we do want to remind you to vote, darlings. That's it for Community Corner News. Today in the Art Corner, Dunning TV producer Seth Walker sat down with muralist Silas Beach. Let's step into Good Morning Dunedin's Art Corner. Oh, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Silas Beach. I've been doing artwork around this area, oh, uh, Pinellas County, Tampa Bay, Florida, 40 years now almost. And I've uh, been here, been there. But now I'm back, I'm back in Dunedin, and I'm glad to be back. I think Dunedin is the best art town in Florida. <laughs> what would our audience be familiar with, some of the stuff that you've done? Oh, well, the Fishbone Crosswalk, which was uh, uh, done about four years ago, uh, about this time, four years ago this time, and, uh, and uh, about 30 years worth of murals and uh, artwork all at Frenchies restaurants and uh, up and down uh, Gulf Boulevard. I did the mile markers that you see with the little fish on, those are all stuff I did. And that's been about 10 years ago, and they're still actually more popular and more used now than they were in the beginning. God, I've done so much, I can't even remember it all. <laughs> you know, uh, I've, been, I've done thousands of artworks uh, over the years. You figure, you know, 40 years worth, man. <laughs> well, it started out in the bathroom. <laughs> Uh, believe it or not, of all places, at, at Frenchie's, uh, th what, 37, 40 years ago, uh, Frenchie was opening up a restaurant, and he said, I think I'm going to call this place Frenchie's Cafe, and I was his friend, and, and back then, everybody was, all, they were all, you know, real friends, and, you know, beach people, and I was always, in, you know, excited about drawing animals and stuff, and birds and fish, and uh, so one night, we were all excited and drinking, <laughs> back in the day, and, uh, um, and I had a marks a lot, <laughs> and I said, well, let me draw something in the bathroom. And I put a, a parrot in a, just kind of a rough outline of a parrot. And then, uh, um, and then Frenchie says, hey, that looks pretty good. She said, why don't we buy some paint and fill it in? And, uh, and that was the start of it, actually. Um, that bathroom became, you know, almost iconic. Um, that's where it all started, doing fish. You know, and of course, me and its fish companies and, and you know, grouper and all that kind of stuff. Is, um, Lots of you know, to do, a lot of fish to paint. 
Influences, uh, I'd say just about everything that has been painted that I see, I relate to it, uh, especially with stuff with colors. I'm really um, uh, especially fond of you know, the bright colors. And as I was learning to be an artist, which I'm self-taught, I learned about different styles of art and, you know, and, and different you know, artists. And, and uh, uh, I kind of felt like, I felt like I really associate with Vincent van Gogh. <laughs> And uh, I have a lot of stuff that uh, looks kind of like his style, but uh, uh, of course I'm no, no, not compared to him, but just the same lifestyle and, you know, improv. Most of the stuff I do is pretty fast. Uh, being that I was in the commercial uh, you know, trade with restaurants, so uh, work had to be done, you know, pretty fast, you know, and inexpensive. So I learned, you know, how to do it quick and fast and look good. Well, art influences everybody, even people that aren't into art, because they don't realize they're being influenced by it. You know, that's you know how I figured it. Because I, I I had no intention of being an artist. You know, when I was growing up, I wanted to be a zookeeper. <laughs> art is important for everything and everybody because it's so important because it influences uh, not only the way you live, but other people live by what they see, and if they, it gives something you know for people to look at. And I find that the art that I like to do is, uh, I call it the art that makes you smile. Because I, um, I, I use happy colors and happy subjects. And I, always, I like to pick out subjects of, uh, like, uh, that people really aren't familiar with. You know, usually, um, uh, I, I like to pick out you know, a, lot, a lot of animals that don't get a lot of recognition, you know? Like, uh, um, well, certain kinds of, uh, uh, well, like there's all kinds of birds. I, uh, of course, my, my logo or my forte was toucans. And uh, as a matter of fact, the first art business I had uh, when I started out was called Two Cans of Paint. It was my first piece official that I'm doing for Dunedin, and I'm doing it as a kind of a poster. This is a painting I just started, or I just finished, finishing. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to make posters of it, and, uh, and I thought I'd give it a new twist. It's a rooster. <laughs> Wake up, rise and shine. Dunedin. Well, thank you, darling Silas, for sharing your talent with us today on Good Morning Dunedin. When we return from a quick break, join me in my crafty corner where it's just ghostly. Stay tuned, darling. Dolly's Crafty Corner, we are making some ghost pops. Mm. No offense, Kenny. Tough being a ghost these days. So this is just gonna be a real quick, simple, fun treat for Halloween. So let's show you what we need to get started. All right, what do we need? So we're gonna start off some coffee filters here. If you don't have any coffee filters, you can also use tissue, tissue paper, coffee filters. You'll see in a minute why, we, why we'd prefer to use these. And we need some some sort of some type of rubber band or string, maybe? string, just something to tie something up together. Okay. And we need some Expo markers or some sharpies, even a pen will do. But this is what we had here in the studio. And the main thing is some candy, but mm -hmm. mostly lollipops. We got Tootsie Roll pops. Tootsie right. pops are the main treat of this. So okay. let's get started. All right. So we got my pop. I got my my coffee filter, and then what? You're just gonna lay it on top like that. You're gonna kind of squeeze it in together. Okay. This is where these hair ties, rubber bands, okay, whatever type of tying thing you can use comes in handy. Oh, starting to look like a ghost already. Now you kind of ruffle the coffee filter a little bit here. It's looking kind of ghostly. Now you're just going to take your marker and put a couple little dots on it to make the eyes. Even add a little mouth if you'd like. And voila! There you have it, our little ghosty pops. These are super cute for Halloween treats. And you can put the hand them out for trick or treaters if, if, if you're participating in that this year. Ghosts really don't look like this. They look like this. So, I don't know where they got this from, but. 
So that was our quick and simple and cute way of doing our little crafty corner today. And like I said, go to the store, get you some lollipops, pretty much find the rest of the stuff around your house and put it together for fun Ooh. for your kids, for Halloween. Give these out to trick-or-treaters. Exactly. All right, fun stuff. Okay, well, uh, thanks for uh, thanks for being crafty with us this morning. And um, is it time for birthday shouts? It is almost that time for birthday shout outs, but while we're here, Kenny, why don't you oh. show off some merchandise we got here? So yeah, we got a, a new batch of these uh, Dunedin TV coffee mugs. It's hard to see it with my black shirt. And uh, these awesome Dunedin TV stickers. Uh, they're vinyl and uh, pretty high quality. And the cups, you know, for drinking your coffee while you're watching Good Morning Dunedin. Anyways, we're doing a giveaway, um, so stay tuned and keep an eye on our social media to find out how you can go home with your own Dunedin TV coffee mug and sticker. All right. All right, now it's time for some birthday shout outs. Thanks for joining me, Kenny. Thank you, Dolly. Well, it's time to hear some birthday shout outs. Happy birthday to twins. Easton and Hadley, they turned seven this week and are balls of energy. Easton is a great t-ball player and Hadley is an inspiring gymnast. Happy birthday to them both. Happy birthday to Eric. He's a diehard Miami Dolphin fan and is expecting his second son in February. Happy birthday, Eric. Happy birthday to Darla. Darla is executive director for Girls Inc. and loves her some Twizzlers. Happy birthday, Darla. Happy birthday to cousin Jennifer. She loves her two daughters, the Avent brothers and the outdoors. Happy birthday, Jennifer. And the best costume award goes to the Tiger King. Happy birthday, everybody. Let's check in with our special guest, Elvis Presley. Elvis, you out there? Elvis, how you been? I'm doing great today. How you doing, baby? <laughs> it's good to have you back, Elvis. We could use a little uh, seasonal greetings this time of year. It's an advice from the king. Uh, I'll tell you what. If there's any kind of a season we need, we need a good season. And I like a lot of seasoning, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I do know what you mean. Uh, so now that summer is over, I really like to take my bike out for a ride on the weekends, but I'm not really sure where to go. And I've heard of this great new company called the Dunedin Bike Tours. Have you heard of them? I've heard of them. I've seen the guy in the orange shirt running around town on a bike. He's a character, all right. Oh yeah, he's one of the weird <laughs> ones. Um, so he's a great tour guide and he puts on tours on the weekends. And I heard you know this guy? Have you met this guy? Yeah, I'm kind of close to the guy. He does every Saturday and Sunday at nine o'clock at Two Crow Coffee. He starts right there, does about a two and a half to three hour tour all around Dunedin, showing off all the things that are making special. Oh, okay. So Two Crow Coffee, that's where you are right now, right? That, exactly. That's right. This is some of the best coffee in town at Two Crow Coffee. <laughs> All right. Can you uh, tell our friends at home a little bit more about this bike tour that you, you seem to know so much about? You can bring your bike or you can rent the bikes uh, for the Halloween tour on October 31st, 9 a.m. at Two Crow Coffee. Bring your bikes, come out in full costume, kind of like some weirdos around here that I see. But come out and enjoy a beautiful time around Dunedin. Sounds like a fun time. Where can people find more information, Elvis? You can get more information at DunedinBikeTours.com. Book online, sign your waivers, and you're ready to go. Okay, well, uh, thanks again, Elvis, for coming on. Oh, and thank, uh, you. thank you very much. Yeah, thanks again, Elvis. You look pretty good there, man. Stay looking beautiful. Our musical guest this week is Elvis Presley. But before we hear from him, I wanted to say thank you to our guest Silas Beach in the Art Corner, Vinny Luisi for our haunted history story, Russ the King Hilton with Dunedin Bike Tours, and of course you, wherever you are, for joining us today. Please reach out to us on social media to share your story and your birthday shout outs. Please remember to be kind to one another and stay safe out there. Dolly, Silas, Elvis, good, good morning, morning. And now, Elvis. Well, thank you, thank you very much. Thanks for having me, I appreciate it. All right, well, why don't you sing us out? All right, well, I'm gonna sing one of my favorites. 
Little sister, don't you? Little sister, don't you? Little sister, don't you kiss me once or twice and say it's very nice and then you run. Little sister, don't you do what your big sister done? Well, I dated your big sister and I took her to the show. I went for some candy, along came Jim Dandy and they snuck right out the door. Little sister, don't you? Little sister, don't you? Little sister, don't you kiss me once or twice and say it's very nice and then you run. Little sister, don't you do what your big sister done? Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Let's go, Dunedin.